Well, okay, let's start with uh, a discussion on magic squares. And I'm going to write two actual squares I'm going to add together. And I'm going to add these two squares together as if I was doing matrix addition. And I will come up with a third 5 by 5 magic square. And that third 5 by 5 magic square will consist of the numbers sequentially from, well, not sequentially, but the numbers from 1 to 25, uh, non-repeating, uh, in a random order, uh, as opposed to a sequential order. I don't know why I said the word sequential, but anyway. Um, the first thing you do is you make one square that on the first line you write out the numbers uh, from 1 to 5 in any order. So I'm just going to write them in a random order like this. 3, 1, 2, 5, 4. And the second line shall be just consisting of the last two numbers of the first line followed by the, th the first three in order. So I start with 5, 4 and I end with 3, 1, 2. And I take the first the last two of that line and then make the first two of this line again and I end with these first three numbers in sequential order. Now I keep doing this and um, I end up with a, a filled square and that square now has basically, well, it, it does by itself have magical properties. It's already in some way a magic square. But of course, it doesn't have the really cool property of having the numbers from 1 to 25, which is kind of what we're uh, going after. Uh, this next one I'll fill in black. This will be, these will be the numbers from 0 to 20 in multiples of 5 starting with 0 and ending in 20. So I can start with 20, 15, 5, 0, and finally 10. Okay, and let's just keep doing this. 5, 0, 10, 20, and 15. And then, now notice what I'm doing here. 5, 0, 10 from this line was used, these last three numbers were used as the first three numbers of this line, and then I ended with 20, 15 in that order. So my next line shall be 10, 20, 15, ending in 5, 0. So 10, 20, 15, 5, and 0. Okay, so 15, 5, 0, 10, and 20. 0, 10, 20, 15, and finally 5. Okay, so now we'll uh, build our third magic square out of these. And um, maybe what I'll do move this paper up a bit and move some things over <laughs> so I can get a good angle. This third square shall be the sum of the first two squares. So um, let's see if I can build this one up freehand and okay so now what I'll do I am going to add these two squares here together to make this third square the process shall be matrix addition now for those of you who don't know what matrix addition is it's not really that hard to explain all I have to do is take the first number of the first row and first column, add it to the first row and first column of this um, of this square, 
and the sum of 20 plus 3 shall be the first row and first column here in the um, sum of the two matrices. So 20 plus 3 is 23. Okay. So let's uh, see if we can fill out the rest of this. 1 and 15 is 16. Okay. 2 and 5 is 7. 5 and 0 is 5. 4 and 10 is 14. As you can see, that's all I'm doing here. 5 and 5, that's 10. 4 and 0 is 4. 3 and 10 is 13. And I'm just going to try and fill out the rest as quickly as I can here. There you go. There are the numbers for my magic square. And this is an honest to God magic square. It has a 5x5 five five magic square. A 5x5 five five magic square has a magic number of 65. The magic number is 65 for a 5x5 five five magic square whose numbers consist of the numbers 1 to 25 non-repeating. You'll always get 65. And matter of fact, you'll get 65 in many, many ways. For one thing, you can add up all of the rows. So there's five, well, all of the columns. <laughs> You can add up all of the columns, and there's five of them. Each of these columns will sum up to 65. Each of these rows will sum up to 65. Okay? So, so far that's 10 ways, but you'll find that there's millions of ways. <laughs> I don't know about millions, but I've heard over a thousand ways. Well, also, both diagonals will add up to 65. And it gets even stranger and stranger. For one thing, if I take any 3x3 three three arrangement of numbers, any 3x3 three three arrangement of numbers, I'll get 65. For example, 23, 7, 4, 11, and 20. I take a 3x3 three three arrangement, I add the four corners plus the middle of that 3x3 three three arrangement, and the total shall be 65. Now I'm going to try something rather adventurous that I haven't really tried. So the idea is that you can take that 3x3 three three arrangement, this 3x3 three three arrangement, that one, and that one, and even the middle one will work. What I'm wondering is, now, if I take this, 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 and this, will it work? Now, I don't know, actually. I haven't tried it before, and uh, who knows? It may, not, it may not work out at all. So 16 and 5 is 21 and 13, well that's 31, and 3 is 34, and 9, 34 and 9 is 43, 53, 63, 64, 65. All right, that worked out. So even, even these ones will work up to 65. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and possibly even these, 7, eight, nine. Um, nine ways of getting 65. Now, I guess that begs the question, does this arrangement really work out to 65? That's also something else I hadn't tried. 13 and 17 is 30, and 9 make 39, and 1 make 40, and 25 make 65. Wow. Well, okay, so that's a lot of ways to get 65. Well, it gets even stranger than that. 
I'll take a template I've already done with this arrangement of numbers. And what I've done here is I've made a 5 by 5 magic square here, another 5 by 5 magic square here. They're the same magic square put together, okay, like two squares. And what happens is that the diagonal relationships that I told you about earlier, the two, actually are a continuum because if you put two magic squares together, then you get this relationship. So not only does the main diagonal end up being 65, but also the diagonal next to it, which goes into the magic square next to that. So 16 and 13 and 9 and 25 and 2 from the neighboring magic square also make 65. Okay. Um, 7, 21, 3, 19, and 15. Let's try that one. 7 and 21 is 28. That's 31. That's 40, 50, 65. There you go. And so will this, so will this. And don't forget the opposite diagonals all work. They all wrap around, and it's amazing. Now, I'm also wondering, those same relationships should work if you take two more magic squares and put them down here. Who knows? I don't know, I don't know if that will work at all. Uh, I also um, had a failed attempt at seeing if you could take a 3x3 three three arrangement and put, and put the 3x3 three three arrangement across two magic squares. It turned out that if you add these numbers here, 4 and 16, 10, 3 and 22, you actually don't get 65. So it looks as though some of, some of the symmetries don't work out, although a surprising number of them do. Uh, I'm told uh, there are many, like an amazing number of ways to get 65, probably, probably in the hundreds. Uh, many, there are many patterns here and of course a lot of patterns you're not seeing here because if I would have taken this pair of magic squares and put another pair of identical magic squares below it uh, you would get even more symmetry uh, than what I'm having in my modest little presentation here okay so that's that's that